Hey everybody, it's Jasmine. So today I have more hairstyles for short hair. Um, as you guys can tell, my hair did grow quite significantly. Uh, no, I did not take no sugar bear hair pills or anything like that. Um, this is all natural and as you can see, it's like past my shoulders just a little bit now. And now that it is a little bit longer, it's considered like a lob. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lob. Um, it's easier to manage, but as you guys can tell, this side is still very uh, much longer than this side. Still asymmetrical. So some hairstyles are harder for me to achieve, but these are kind of um, hairstyles for that awkward stage in your hair where you want to put it up and you want it to stay in place. So I did get a request to do a um, hair tutorial on the two French braids that I had in one of my videos. I think it was the Best of Beauty for 2016. And I know that if you have short hair or a lot of layers, it is really hard to braid your hair because your hair is flying out everywhere and it's really unmanageable and nasty. So I'm just gonna comb out my hair and then put this Herbal Essence Honey I'm Strong Strengthening Serum. This is just going to strengthen your hair. Um, any serum will do, if it's a smoothing serum, it's for split ends, for anything. Um, you just want something to stick in your hair. So I am going to split my hair down the center. Um, personally, I don't care if it is perfectly split down the center, as long as there are two halves. That's all that matters. So I am going to leave this side out for now, and I'm going to show you guys how I do my French braid on this side. Um, so I am going to start at the top section of my hair like this. You want to grab about, I don't know how people do their measurements. Is this an inch? Uh, I don't know. It's an inch of section. Mm. So I'm just going to split it into three right here. And the key to this is that you want to grab very, very small sections. And it is going to take you a long time because you're not grabbing thick, thick sections. But that's the key to having it stay in all day. So I am going to go in and the right side goes under, left side goes under, right side goes under, and then you want to start by taking these sections here, go under, and then from this top section, you want to switch it, go under, this is a really bad explanation, but basically you want to keep braiding and adding in sections, and then putting it under the middle section. So, what is this? Left, left, under, right, grab some hair, go under, left, grab some hair, go under, right, grab some hair, go under. And if you're wondering how to keep this really tight, your hands always want to stay near the base of your braid. So as you can see, my hands are not down here. They're always sticking up here. And then you can just do a regular braid all the way to the bottom. You want to make sure this is tight as well. Um, I do want to mention that before I started the braid that my hair was air drying. And I think it was about 80% dry before I started to braid it. I'm taking a black thin elastic and that really helps when your hair is just a little bit wet because I noticed that when you have short hair and you braid it, especially my hair, the hair tends to flick upwards like this and that's not what you want. You want it to just stay down as much as possible so I find that wet hair is really easy. Well not completely wet, like more damp hair. and. You just want to repeat this on the other side. So as you can see, it's all good. good. I feel like when I do my hair, I want to talk to people. People have been telling me like, oh, like you're crazy. I've never met a woman who never regretted cutting her hair. And I also got this like really mean comment saying like, I don't look twice at women with short hair. Like you should grow it out because you will look more feminine. And in my head, it's kind of like, 
I donated my hair to children with leukemia. So what is more important, children with leukemia or looking feminine? And that's kind of like really rude to say like, hair is, hair is good to have, it's a really nice accessory, but like, is it everything, you know? If I could donate my hair to somebody else in need and it will give them confidence, like whether it's for someone with leukemia or if someone wants a wig or anything like that. It's kind of like, as long as like I can help somebody with their confidence, that will help them with their own self-esteem. That makes me feel good. So yeah, short hair is pretty bomb. So here is the finished product for this look. Um, this is just really nice, it's like you don't really have to hairspray it. This is perfect if you want to do overnight curls. This is how it looks. So this is what my hair looks like after a whole day with my hair in braids. I am going to show you guys how I curl my hair and I like working with curls on second day hair or on textured hair. So for that I'm just going to be applying some heat protectant. Argon oil is a natural heat protectant so I'm just going to take some of that. A little bit does go a long way and I did about that much <laughs> and I'm just gonna run this through mostly the ends of my hair just so I know that they are protected from the heat and as you can see like my hair just like has a whole bunch of volume it's just my scalp area is kind of flat since I did have a very flat braid so we are gonna focus a lot of the texture in our scalp area so you also want to bring the heat protectant up in there too I'm gonna section my hair off from my ears and the bottom section is more of like the look of the curl um, since how do I want to put this since we want to focus it all on the top area the bottom is kind of like the imitated curl so I'm gonna take this really old iron this is by bedhead um, I think this is a one inch barrel might be so what I did, I heated up all the way to 400 just because I don't like spending too much time on my hair and when I set on the highest heating, heat setting, <laughs> then it takes a shorter amount of time for me to curl my hair. So what I want to do is I want to take a section like this and I like starting it at the base and then slowly move my way down, curl back up. And then I like leaving that little bit of end section out just so I could save my split ends, you know? So I'm just gonna keep this here for a few seconds and then release. And then I like keeping it like that. Um, I don't really care if my curls fall out throughout the day. Um, I kind of like that messy hair look. And for the bottom section, I don't really care uh, too much about um, if I miss any sections or not. Um, all that matters is as long as I am rotating which way I am clamping. So for this section that I curled, I curled away from my face. This one I am curling inward to my face. And this is just going to help prevent the curls from not sticking together. And I know like when a whole bunch of curls that are going the same way, they just combine into this one swirl and that's kind of not what you want. And so keep it there for a few seconds. For the next section, I am just going to section off the crown, the crown area. <laughs> and I'm going to just start curling the midsection. This one is kind of important because this is kind of like the main attraction, you know? So I'm gonna start with the section that is framing my face. I'm gonna be curling outward like this. I'm gonna keep this here for a few seconds and then I'm going to move down. Keep it here for a few seconds. Move a little bit more. And this is gonna ensure a tighter curl. And then for the other sections, I kind of like to alternate between like different types of curls. So this one I am just going to uh, curl it like this as if this curling iron was a wand. At the very top section, I know I already curled it, but it's like an added step that I like to do. I've done this ever since like I was in middle school. I would take like really small sections and I would curl them like super, super tight. And then it would just like give me like the slightest bit more like kinkiness and curliness to the look. And then I just release it. 
Oh yeah, you could definitely see right there. I love parting my hair to my left. So a lot of my curls are going to be focused going in this direction. So I like to just part my hair now. For the top section, I do just like to curl my hair like this because this is more of a spiral curl, like a ringlet curl. Um, so it's a lot more defined and I like my curls defined more uh, towards the top of my head. So I really just like taking my fingers and running it through my hair. And I usually don't like putting in product in my hair other than oil. But you can totally set this with hairspray if you'd like. I just prefer not to, but that's just me. <laughs> but this is how I curl my hair and how I get like a ton of volume in it. And For this hairstyle, I had to zoom you guys really far out because I'm gonna show you guys how I do my buns. Um, I know that when you have short hair, let alone asymmetrical hair, it's really hard to put your hair up and here is a bun hairstyle that I have that requires no bobby pins and let's just get into it. Alright, so as you can see I flipped my hair upside down and I'm just going to start by doing a French braid. The key to this hairstyle is the smaller sections you grab on the side of your hair. Uh, the better your hair stays up into the bun. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And then when I reach the top, I just coil it up into a bun. Like so. It could just be messy at this point and just tie it off. And there we go, a beautiful, nice, messy bun that's gonna stay up. I know that um, just buns in particular are just really hard to look effortlessly messy. I don't know how I did it when I had my long hair. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. I know it's not anything perfect, but it will stay intact nonetheless. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Great, awesome. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Please let me know if you're gonna try any of these hairstyles out. It would mean the world to me if you guys let me know. And I wanna say that if you are thinking about cutting your hair, do it because who is here to tell you no? Um, for the past few weeks or so, I've really just been thinking about how my hair, what like when it was long, it was really nice, really healthy and I do admit I did look feminine and when I posted that hair cutting video I had no intentions of it ever blowing up to the way it did but I have just been getting a lot of hate for it. Um, I know that short hair isn't for everybody and I understand that you know it was a big drastic change. Um, I was by no means trying to ask for any attention. I've, I've never asked for any attention like that from any of my videos, but you know what? It happened and if you think that you want to take the plunge to get short hair, do it. It's for your own happiness, for your own self-encouragement, self-esteem, and I hope you guys find that, you know, hair is hair. You know, it's not the end of the world. Um, if you cut it on accident or if you get a bad haircut, it grows back. I assure you, it can grow back. And I guess that's how I want to end this video. Uh, don't let anybody tell you any less about your hair. Don't let anybody tell you that you're ugly with short hair. Don't let anybody tell you anything about having short hair, long hair, whether you're a boy with long hair, a girl with short hair. doesn't matter. You're you and if you're happy, that's all that matters. So I am now going to wrap up this video and I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out Girl Scouts.